Finding the right programming language can be pretty daunting, especially with so many options available online. Today, I'm breaking down the top programming languages to learn if you're aiming for a high paying job in tech. I analyzed 150 job postings on LinkedIn to find out which skills companies are actually looking for. In this video, I'm going to cover nine of the hottest engineering jobs, the salaries that you can expect, and the best programming languages for each role. Now you want to stick around till the end because I'll save the roles with the highest pay for the last. Before we dive in, let's first talk about a question a lot of people are asking nowadays. Is AI going to replace coders? Well, AI is evolving really fast and it's hard not to worry that it might start taking over our jobs. And I actually have a whole video on this topic if you want to dive deeper. But for today's video, the short answer is that you want to think of AI as a tool kind of like a calculator. Calculators didn't replace our need to learn math. They just made it easier for us to use math. If you completely don't understand math, you can't really use calculators effectively. Like you would need to know what a plus button does versus a multiplication button does. And it's going to be similar with AI. Learning to code is still an important foundation for the future development because without understanding coding as a foundation, it would be difficult for you to fully utilize the tools that AI is going to provide in the future. Now, if you want to pick the best language to learn, first start by asking yourself, what kind of tech career actually excites you? Instead of getting caught up in job titles, think about the work itself and imagine your future self, maybe 10 years down the line. Ask yourself questions like, what industry are you in? What companies might you work for? Who are the people around you? What kinds of projects are you working on? Would you enjoy the day-to-day -day tasks that come with it? And keep in mind, what you see on the tech blogs or social media doesn't usually show the full picture. Sure, yeah, big tech companies usually you do offer free lunches and nice perks, but tech careers also involve a lot of problem solving and hard work. Planning your future can be challenging if you're unsure what the job looks like day to day. And that's why I would encourage you to connect with real engineers, hear about their routines, what they love about their work, and the challenges that they face. If you don't know anyone in tech, that's okay too. Check out some of my videos where I interviewed other people in tech so you can hear about their journeys. One last caveat to keep in mind is that learning a programming language isn't a magic ticket to a tech job overnight. The goal of this video is to help you start that journey by choosing the right language for your goals so you don't waste your time. I've seen tons of YouTube videos promising that just learning a language will land you a job, but that's not really the truth. Unfortunately, mastering these key languages alone isn't enough in today's tough job market. And that's where today's sponsor comes in. Zero to Mastery has hundreds of courses designed to teach you step-by-step -step how to learn many of the key skills for machine learning engineering. For example, if you want to sharpen your ML skills, their TensorFlow for deep learning or Python developer course is perfect for you. They even offer a full roadmap with step-by-step -step classes for the AI and machine learning engineering career path. And don't worry, these courses are made for any skill level, even if you've never written a line of code before, but it's not just the courses and the expert instructors that make this a great platform. When you join Zero to Mastery, you get exclusive access to the most active tech community with over 400,000 fellow students. You will learn alongside a community of instructors who can help answer any questions whenever you get stuck. Check out the link in the description to get started. Now let's dive into the first high paying tech career path, mobile engineering. For mobile engineers, there are two main paths, Android and iOS. If you're interested in Android, the average salary is around $104,000 a year. 92% of companies are looking for experience with Kotlin. Kotlin is a versatile modern language that enables cross-platform development. Java comes in as the next most requested skill. While Java is the native language for Android, it seems that Kotlin is becoming the preferred choice because it's concise, safer, it makes development for Android much faster and more efficient. On the iOS side, the average salary comes in a little bit higher at $112,000 a year. Every single job posting that we saw asked for Swift. So 100% Swift is a go-to language for iOS nowadays. 
is fast, easy to read, and integrates well with Apple's ecosystem. Objective C was the secondary frequently asked skill, but Swift has been slowly taking over as a primary language for iOS in the recent years. Both iOS and Android Pass are solid choices, but knowing which platform excites you more can help you decide where to start. Now that said, I'm personally not a fan of mobile development. I spent eight years working at WhatsApp as a software engineer and an engineering manager. And one of the things that I did not love the most was the constant changes made by Apple and Google. We would have to go back to the code and redo a bunch of features. And I just didn't enjoy feeling like we were getting dragged around by the external decision makers. All right, enough of my rant on mobile development. Let's move on to the web development. This is all about creating and maintaining websites. Web development has two main sides, the front end and the back end development. Front end development is responsible for the layouts, the design, and any visual or interactive features that you see on websites. And you're looking at an average salary around $116,000. Based on my research, 90% of companies require number one, JavaScript, followed by number two, React and HTML. So how does JavaScript, React, and HTML work together. Well, HTML forms the structure of the web page, providing the basic content and elements like text, images, and links. JavaScript, on the other hand, brings your site to life by making dynamic and responsive user interactions like clicks or scrolling. React is a JavaScript library that simplifies creating complex user interfaces by allowing developers to build reusable components. Now the back end development is the behind the scenes magic of the web pages. Things like databases, servers, and the business logic that make everything on the front end work smoothly. So this is where the data is stored, retrieved, and processed to support user requests or user information. The average salary for the backend developer is similar around $110,000. And the top three skills companies are looking for in backend roles is Python, Java, and AWS. AWS or Amazon Web Services isn't technically a coding language, but it's an important tool in today's cloud-driven environment as it allows developers to build, deploy, and manage applications in the cloud offering great scalability and cost effectiveness. Now, if you want to do it all, consider becoming a full stack developer where you're doing both the front end and the back end skills. I do believe that the demand for the front end only roles will decrease over time as AI tools get better and better at designing and doing front end development work, which means the full stack developers, on the other hand, are likely to become even more in demand since they can handle both the user facing side and the server side. You will definitely need to know more languages and tools because you will be doing both front end and back end work, but the payoff is worth it with the average salary jumping to about $137,000. Next, we're going to look at the data roles. First is a data scientist with an average salary of $116,000. They use data to identify solutions that help organizations make better decisions. Python was required by 100% of the job postings that we saw. Strong statistics knowledge was the next on the list. Even though this is technically not a coding language, it is an important skill for data scientists to be able to analyze data, trend, and validate findings. Finally, proficiency with visualization tools like Tableau was another frequent job requirement. Data analyst is a better entry point if you're a new grad unable to land a data scientist role. Average salary is a little bit lower, around $95,000, but it's still a pretty solid paycheck for entry-level roles. Top two requirements for SQL and Python. Finally, it's no surprise that the highest paying jobs are AI and machine learning. Both feel 
skills are highly in demand with average salaries around 112,000 for machine learning engineers and 132,000 for AI engineers. So there isn't a significant difference in terms of the salary range. Also for both roles, Python was the number one top skill employers are looking for, followed by large language models and deep learning for machine learning engineers. Python's versatility makes it a great choice across web development, data science, machine learning, and AI. So if you're just getting started, it's a solid investment to learn Python. Now, going back to the list for AI engineers, generative AI was the next most requested skill after Python. Gen AI is a subfield of deep learning, and it's all about creating new content by picking up on patterns on existing data, like how ChatGPT can generate text based on your prompts, or how DALI can generate paintings. This technology fuels some of today's hottest innovations, making it an exciting area to dive into. Now, if you've made it this far, drop a done in the comments and let me know which language you're learning or planning to learn. Now, if you want to learn more about tech salary trends for the upcoming year and learn which jobs and skills are needed to survive in the age of AI, you wanna watch this video. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this one next. So see you there.